Hey, what's up guys? Caleb here from Ellsworth Razors. Welcome back to the channel. Well overdue for a shave again here. So I'm um, just gonna do a quick fun little Christmas shave with this new addition to the den. That is Tis the Season by Noble Otter. For the brush, I'm gonna be using this beautiful green verdant brush by Chisel and Hound. And it's got a 26 millimeter synthetic knot in it. And then for the razor, I was gonna use something else, but uh, it just matched with the color so nicely. So I decided to yet again, go ahead with my copper cant. It's got that same Wismet blade in it from last time. So we're now on three uses. Let's talk about Tis the Season. That is Noble Otter. They're one of my favorite soap makers. I, I must have over 10 of their soaps by now. Although I haven't used one of their soaps in a while because I've been acquiring some different things. Um, here's the pour, it's a four ounce pour. It's a little bit of a firmer soap and it's got this really interesting pink color to it. It's hard to see it on the camera here, but it's a very pink looking soap. It almost looks like a, like raspberry yogurt or something like that. Um, beautiful artwork, of course. You can see there's like this cool gold foil. There's that noble otter otter dressed up as Santa Claus. And um, I got a few holiday fragrances this year, but this one was one that I was really really, really looking forward to. Um, just the description on it sounded great. The scent notes on it are in the top, raspberry, apple, and rosemary. So a couple of fruits and a spice. Then in the middle, we have freesia and oak moss. And then in the base, we have balsam, cedar, pine, fir, and we've got some musk in there too. So just a bunch of woods, kind of evergreen Christmas tree fragrances, and musk. And I will say, I'm not getting the oak moss at all. I'm definitely getting the kind of nice fruitier top notes, and especially the evergreen notes. You know, to me, this is what a holiday fragrance should smell like. It basically smells like a Christmas tree, but like in the best possible way. Scent strength is about medium right now, maybe slightly high medium, which is perfect for me. And This being the first day of my Christmas vacation, it is really putting me in the mood. So, you know, if you like the smell of a natural fresh Christmas tree, maybe some Christmas fruit cakes with a little bit of spice in there. This is gonna be a holiday fragrance for you. The price point is around or exactly $20 US. In fact, Noble Otter is normally what I use as kind of the benchmark for an artisan soap, around $20 US. It's a little bit higher than, you know, some of the more budget-friendly artisan soaps, but it's about that middle level sort of benchmark. Back on the Canadian dollar, was trading with the US dollar at, you know, a more reasonable sort of rate that translated to about $25 Canadian for four ounces, which is a nice, you know, it's not too expensive. It's not going to break your bank for a high quality artisan soap. However, right now with the exchange rate being what it is, it's uh, getting closer to around 27 or $28. Canadian, so it's a little bit higher um, in, in the price point in Canadian dollars. Still absolutely worth it though. Um, great base, a little bit firmer than the tub. You know, you can press into it, but it's not one of the super kind of soft, creamy curl bases. It lathers up just great though. I'm on about five, no, 
almost a week worth of growth again. I've, I've been so busy. I barely had time to shave. So, you know, again, if you go back at the top of the video, we're Saturday right now. And I think my last video that I recorded with Concesha Catalana was probably Saturday or Sunday. So just about a week worth of growth. And, um, no problems here with this lather. To be honest, the, the copper can't continues to impress too. Even with this third use Wismit blade in there. It really is, you know, not having too much trouble with that week worth of growth. And I do have pretty dense growth. It gets a little bit you know, I'm not going to go to BBS in one stroke around the chin, especially. I just have a lot of geometry and angles on the chin. So usually I have to do, you know, maybe one or two passes with the grain just to make sure that I got through everything. But then after that, you know, the second pass, I haven't even need a third pass. I just, I, I, I get the bulk of it in that first pass and then the second pass gets me there. Oh yeah, that second pass with the lather there, all of those Christmas tree fragrances just came out again so nicely. Um, this is definitely, you know, a winning holiday fragrance. If you haven't tried it, Again, maybe that um, evergreen tree, Christmas tree fragrance isn't gonna be for everyone, but if you like it and it brings back some nostalgia, like it does for me, you know, for me, it feels like Christmas morning and it is just great. Speaking of which, I hope everyone is having a great holiday period, holiday season right now. I just started the first day of my holiday break, so I got a couple weeks off from work. So I'm not going to be working, just kind of taking it easy. Going to be going up to Ottawa to visit my father and my brothers. That'll be nice. We always get together. Hang out, watch some Christmas classics, some It's a Wonderful Life, Christmas Carol, you know, the good stuff. Miracle on 34th Street, I think it's 34th Street, the one where, you know, they try to put Santa on trial for... not being Santa or for misrepresenting because they don't believe he's real or something. That's a good one. If you've never seen that miracle on 34th street. Um, but yeah, we, we always get together, hang around, just have some family time. Cause you know, they live over there. And so we don't live in the same city, They're a little bit far away. So we mostly only get to see each other a few times a year in person, Thanksgiving, um, I share a birthday with my twin brother. I have a blemish there. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna nick that guy if I haven't already. Yeah, there we go. Just dinged it. Um, yeah, so we only see each other a few times a year. So I always look forward to these visits. Well, it's bleeding pretty good actually. Um, and it's just, it's just a fun time. Margot and I like to cook, and so we'll make a plan to like get together and cook the dinner for the whole family. Everyone else just kind of hangs out and chats with us while we cook. That's a great time. And yeah, again, awesome. Didn't even need that third pass yet again. Just had a tiny pickup again, just in my little dip there, but consistently getting to 
BBS and two passes um, with this Copper Kent and the Wisimet pairing on like, you know, a week worth of growth, which is pretty, you know, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, all right, let's try this Tis the Season Splash. This is an alcohol splash. And uh, to be honest, I kind of prefer the alcohol splashes. I like that little sting. I mean, you know, the uh, witch hazels are nice too, but there's something about that little punch that you get with the alcohol that I really enjoy. Yeah, mmm. It's almost a little bit of like a some minty fragrance in there too in the splash. It's, it's like total, total Christmas. It's basically a, a Christmas tree with like some candy canes on it or something, but I love it. So yeah, super, super win, super hit there for the holiday fragrance. I would say definitely go pick that up. The Verdant Brush here by Chis One Hound, you know, it did what it does. It's a beautiful, beautiful brush. Also, just incidentally, I got this thing as a factory, factory second. Apparently there's a bubble in there somewhere. I can't even find it, so, um, but I got it for a great price. I think it was like sub $50, maybe $40 for the handle. Then I bought a knot and set it myself. So I mean, sometimes Rob lets go of a, a factory second brush, which for whatever reason, he won't sell at full price and you can get an amazing hand-turned artisan brush, which, you know, this Verdant is it's beautiful. It's one of my favorites, that nice green handle. And um, yeah, like sub, sub $50. So awesome stuff. Copper Cant did it again. Um, that's gonna be it for this week's uh, holiday shade. Hoping you're all having a great holiday period, holiday season, got some nice stuff lined up and everything. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you so much, and I will see you in the next video.